Hello, um, I'm here to teach Uncle Seal about, or Homer the Homesteader. This here's Homer the Homesteader in this here setting. What are I, you teaching me about, Sonny? Basketball. Nice, where are you at? Um, outside Aunt Connie and Uncle Steve's house, the mechanical it, genius. Uncle Steve the mechanical genius, and they're off at work, and you and I are about ready to get a basketball lesson for Miss Sonny. And so I'm gonna let you steal the show as you always do. <laughs> and tell me what you're gonna show me about basketball today. Okay, so the first thing you might wanna do in basketball is you might wanna try to dribble first about basketball. You wanna try to, if you're at a really high hoop um, and you wanna try to shoot it, this is how you should always do it. And that's why you don't ever shoot like this. You don't ever shoot like this. Because then that would just mess it up. So, can you show me up close there, Miss Sunny, what the exact difference in how you was holding the ball when you shot it? So, so. I do this. Uh-huh. And Let's then... And then you just throw it. You just throw it up. All right. Like that. And then boom, it goes way high up to a very high rim, right? So the way I was show, showing you wasn't exactly like I had seen. So this is the way you normally see on TV shows, right? But it doesn't. So if you do that, it messes up. It doesn't go as straight. So, oh, but you made it in the basket that time. Are you telling me all them folks up there in the NBA been shooting wrong all these years? Well, if they do this, they have. But if they do this, they haven't. This is how. This is a way that most people in basketball do. Yes. So I'm also going to teach you how to spin it on your finger. All right. Whoa. It takes a while to get practice. Yeah, I think you're going to be globe trotting here soon. So. Normally, I'll show you how to dribble. All so, right. The first part in dribbling is you gotta get a really good grip on it. Yeah. And you gotta run from any type of speed. Any type of speed okay, you can so dribble. I'm gonna show you now. You're getting pretty good at punching, and there you go. dribbling because you gotta fight over the other team to get the basketball right you have to throw it to one part of the team there you go you gotta pass it off to your teammates before the other team gets the ball all right can you tell me where uh, I can use these homesteading skills you've been teaching at a basketball well you can practice at home if you do have a basketball uh -huh. And you can also buy one of your, if you, if your basketball has no air, you can buy a pump at either Myers if you have it, or Walmart. All right, Myers is a regional store in and around uh, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, I think I even saw some in Ohio. So you didn't have those down there in Texas, do you? Nope. Nope. This, these are pretty pretty much like a super H-E-B, aren't they? We have we only have H-E-B and Walmart, and that's basically it, and some stores. And some stores, so... Like shopping stores. Shopping stores, so you can get a pump for your basketball at a, your regional favorite store. So here's one thing, uh, the mechanical genius, Steve, Uncle Steve, um, taught me how to blow up a basketball. So first thing, when you ever have that needle, you have to lick it, spit it, or get it wet. How does that help it keep from leaking around the needle on that? All you have to do is see that hole right there? You put I that do. needle in there. I see. And then you just pump it up and down, and that's the easiest way that there is possibly. Did you try using your lips to blow it up on a needle? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. That's that would take forever ever yeah you might let more air out than you get in huh mm -hmm. all right well 
we are going to pick some mulberries. This we would we would do that in a little bit of a video in a minute. But first, let's close this one out. I want to thank you very much for joining us today, Sonny. Peace, and love, and togetherness. Remember that, everyone. And just saw your leg update on property.